good deal for her qualifying in the event final for balance beam what should she expect out of herself i think ivana should expect a medal this is an event where she has excelled on american soil but this is a chance for ivana to prove her grit at the international stage with these judges we begin with elisabetta preziosa of italy and i am not getting the finally getting a chance to represent my country and not wearing the country's colors it's both the american men and women obviously here in fact it's most of the countries yeah it's all around the world they think it's fashion but i think it's a faux pas <laughs> to mm. be honest this would be the biggest deal for this young lady the biggest stage that she has competed on she has some nice qualities. She Beautiful shows flexibility. Off a lot of flexibility. She does a remarkable skill in this routine. It's all about these acrobatic combinations and connecting them as well as you possibly can because if you take a pause, you will not get the bonus points. Her biggest result is she was third on balance beam at the Mediterranean Games. But really, as Elfie said, she is a, a, a newcomer to this level of competition. The skill right here is quite lovely. And really, it, it sets her apart a little bit from her competitors. She's saying to the judges, okay, check it out. Something a little different. You haven't seen this before. She's got to hurry up. Only 10 seconds after that whistle. And she made it, though. The Italians not really noted for being overly strong in women's gymnastics. However, they did have a world champion in the all-around, Vanessa Ferrari, in 2006. Who's missing because of injury. Once again, yes. Really lovely dance, nice qualities in her flexibility, her toe point, but really where she will need improvements are things like this, the landing positions, both on the beam and off the beam, on the dismounts. Those are valuable points right there. So again, this is the event final. It's just the performance on the beam and then gold, silver, and bronze. Eight qualified off the all-around competition. And now we get a Deng Ling Lin of China. And she has had a very disappointing competition, but she is fabulous on this event. She'll do actually a tumbling run after this first front flip here. We said in the all-around competition that she performs almost every skill imaginable in a minute 30 seconds she just packs it in and she really tumbles on this boom <laughs> a lot of the gymnasts you see do that element and they don't really rebound off of the beam they jump and when you rebound you can go a little higher it's more dramatic Dang, of course, was part of that Olympic gold medal winning team last year in Beijing. But this is the event that she is known for, specialist. Well, a totally different look yeah, from the all-around <laughs> finals. Wow. Oh, we still have more stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, she does just about everything. And there's the warning. Ten seconds. Very difficult combination. That's, that's more like it. That was beautiful. I'd call that Beijing ready. Right there. And if the judges see it that way, she should be the new leader. Well, they should they should see it that way. Her <laughs> yeah, difficulty in this routine is out of a 6.4. But as Tim mentioned, this tumbling, look at that straight body right till the end. She gets a lot of power, a lot of lift. 
remember that balance beam is just four inches wide. Just incredible skills. Connecting that, that might have been a little too long. A lot of these elements have to be done in succession without a stop, certainly, or even a pause. But this, look at the toes and the knees, just the smallest little hop, but beautiful. And that's going to do it. Deng Lin Lin is the new leader. Still more gymnasts to come, including American Ivana Hong, but first from the People's Republic of Korea, Kim Ung Hyang. And much like Deng Lin Lin, she has a lot of difficulty planned in this exercise. One skill that is like crazy. She's hard. Yeah, crazy, like she's tumbling right on the floor. Right here. Oh, actually, not right here. She does a round off and then a back layout with a full. It's coming up right here. Super hard. Other gymnasts are staring her down right about now. <laughs> what the heck are you doing that for? Why do you have to do that for? <laughs> but then run, runs down the beam to do a simple, relatively simple punch front. Little bobbles here and there. Excellent flexibility as well. A requirement is that you do one of those leaps and you meet a full split in the air, 180 degrees. She had qualified second coming into these event finals at the second highest beam score. It was hard and pretty good, but also a number of places where they can deduct. She seemed a little tired after that, with good reason. Yeah, and you see how her chest drops on that? And she had a number of those. Yes, she did. That, uh, you know, when you're vying for a gold medal, you just can't, can't make those possible in a routine this difficult. We call them balance checks. But this, incredibly difficult, and she has one of the better landings on it. Yeah, she made it look very, very easy. Just a uh, body check once again on a very simple skill. Had a good variety of skills. Nice to watch. Just needs to be a little bit more sure on the entire exercise. I hate to bring this up, but next time you're at a party, have someone draw two lines on the floor four inches apart and see how many people at the mm -hmm. party can just walk <laughs> and stay between the lines. Yeah. So Kim Ong Yang moves into second place with a score of 14.45. This is the event final for a world championship on the balance beam. When we come back, the next woman to mount the beam will be Ivana Hong of the United States. We continue at the World Gymnastics Championships O2 Arena London, Ivana Hong of the United States. And she's actually wearing red, which is an American color. Kind of got the stars there. One of the things that Marta Caroli, who is the coordinator for the women's program, had said is she's looking for more confidence from this young lady. She wants to see it on the world stage. She said if she doesn't believe in herself, why the heck should the judges now? And I'll tell you, she's got, I think, a lot of pressure in this routine. It's not just a world championship finals. She is one of the four American women, and they all have a medal at this point. And I'm sure she doesn't want to get on that plane being the only one without one. I think Ivana's move to the Woga gym after the Beijing Olympics when she was pretty beat up from injuries and didn't really know whether she wanted to continue in the sport. I think Valeri has done wonders for her confidence, for her gymnastics. 
course, Valeri is the father and coach of Nastia Lukin. And he himself was one of the all-time greats. Beautiful dismount here. Looking Perfect like a more, position, yeah. yeah. Looking like a more solid competitor, Excellent. mentally and physically. So, Elfie, what you're saying is Valeri cured her hungover. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and to Ivana, I apologize. I, <laughs> she looked good. She could win a medal with this performance. Oh yeah, but definitely. She should. she should. She has exceptional lines. You know, there were just little moments throughout the routine where, like everybody has been having, just little balance checks here and there. But for the most part, this is right up there with the best. She's going to be extremely happy with this performance. I love the dismount. She has perfect form. Legs pasted together just the small step on the landing but looks like she's back and she's going to win a medal there's only one more woman to go and that's going to put her in silver position 14.55 dangling lin has to be like, be very confident yeah really it would be almost impossible to catch that and this is Lauren Mitchell from Australia. Who can easily win a, a medal on this event. This is her forte. It's what she's known for. She has some really cool gymnastics and different gymnastics, which I appreciate so much because it's not the typical cookie cutter combinations that we're seeing from many of the gymnastics stars. And what a day she had in the all around finals. She a quarter of a tenth <laughs> from winning a medal. That hurts. Well, Lauren has qualified fifth into balance beam. She's also on floor exercise, qualified fifth, so could certainly win a medal. This is one of those very, very cool skills, a signature skill of hers. Double turn, way up there on Willow Bay. That is hard stuff. <laughs> I love this right here. Very nice. Different. It's just different. Different combination. Makes you sit up and go, oh. Haven't okay. seen that? Yeah. What I think she does so well is she controls when she does have a problem. It doesn't look so bad. She has a good way of covering up. Think about that. Losing a world championship medal by a quarter of a tenth. That's like your finger being in the wrong position. Yeah, that's going to drive her crazy because it was probably from that step out of bounds. As she gets a hug from the head coach of Australia, Peggy Linick, who was most famous for developing a little kid named Shannon Miller. And hasn't Peggy done a great job with this Australian gymnastic program, I believe, arrived in 1997, shortly after the 96 Olympic Games, to take over this program. And they have developed some great, great athletes. And this was the very cool combination, aerial walkover into a standing front. You probably could have tightened up the connection just a wee bit. But this is a, this is a great routine. This is a world championship routine. She'll be on the podium. Just where? Peggy was hired to make sure Australia put up a good showing at the Sydney Olympics in 2000. And this basically is a generation that was born from that exposure. And Lauren Mitchell is going to move into second place and take the silver medal. And Ivana Hong is going to take the bronze home from London. But it's a medal. That's right. And now the news is finally flashed. It's official, a 14.875. And Lauren Mitchell just loves that. So do the Chinese gymnasts. They continue to dominate. When we come back, Nastia Lukin will talk to Ivana Hong about her bronze medal. We'll update you on parallel bars and men's vault. And still to come, Rebecca Bross in women's floor exercise. On the world stage, USA Gymnastics is on a roll. Their most recent medal winner, Ivana Hong, is with Nastia Lukin.
Your first individual world championship medal. How are you feeling right now? I'm very, very pleased with my performance out there today. Um, you know, there's always places and room to improve, but I'm very proud of what I did there. Good. Well, congratulations. What's coming up next for you? Um, we have a little break um, towards the end of this year, and next year is just a whole beginning and a brand new year. Good, good luck and congratulations.